Hey everyone, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. I had a really good question this week. It was actually posted on the creating uh, photographs video from last week about photographing children. And uh, so here we go. How do you show the customer the shots you think are good? Do you print them out in a 6x4, 4x6 as we say here in the States? Mm -hmm and put them in a viewing folder for them to look at and also take or do you send them all via email in low resolution I'm always wanting to save money but worry that the customer will take the low resolution images and get them printed at a discount printing store thanks in, thanks in advance Baldrick well I have a number of things that I want to go over with this with regards to this um, this first question obviously is referring to clients and customers uh, that means you're probably a professional, you're doing it, you're doing your own jobs. So the number one way to get around that is to only show your photos to them from your screen. If you have a studio, have them come to your studio, set up a projector, uh, project Lightroom onto the screen, and they order directly from that. Don't offer any other way. Say, no, you know, no, I don't email them out. No, I'm so sorry, I don't do that. And... Simple as that. That is the number one way to keep your sales up and then not have to worry about images being reprinted or doing something with them and the client doing something with them that you haven't authorized and basically you not making the full amount of money. So um, that's easiest. That gets rid of all problems and they come to you and they order pictures. Uh, simple as that. So that's number one. Uh, obviously, best case too. Uh, number two... Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, is the photo gallery. Um, this is an open source program called Gallery, and uh, just like their slogan says, your photos on your website. I am not a fan of using those systems, those those websites like Zenfolio and all those other ones that are out there. I'm just not a fan. I want my photos on my website. I want to control the entire experience. And I don't want to give some other company 10, 15, 20, 50 percent of the sale if I'm going to sell something that's online. So what I use my gallery for is events that I shoot. I have a big fat watermark on everything so that they're not going to want to print that. Would you want to hang something like this with my name and you know across the the the, the front here? Probably not. You might share it on Facebook. Fine, I don't care about that. But you know what you're not going to want to print that you're not going to want to hang that on your wall and it's a low enough resolution by the way these are uploaded to here at 600 pixels or 700 pixels I think lately I've been doing 700 pixels um, up on the site so they're pretty small images in the first place and uh, then you add the watermark and so they're they're just not big enough to really print and do anything with so um, yeah that's that's gallery excellent open source program that's your next step. You're controlling that. You're putting your watermark on it. Um, you can also restrict who goes in and sees the photos. You can put a username and a password on them. You can send up multiple usernames and passwords if you really wanted to. Uh, you can sell directly through that. Then you're only paying the PayPal fee, the 2 to 3% credit card fee, and that's it. Instead of all that additional money for Zenfolio or whatever the system is, um, it just doesn't work. Not not the best way to go. So. As far as pros are concerned, that's the steps that you want to be taking and the way that you want to go. All right, um, that's the easiest. It's a really easy way. Talk to your web host. Talk to your your uh, ho website hosting company, and uh, they'll help you set it up. Uh, also, there's a great forum here on the gallery site, gallery.minalto.com. Just Google it. Google photo gallery or gallery, and it'll come up, and you'll find it. I uh, also put a link to it over on my website. Flickr is the next one that I use, and what happens with it is it's it's my image hosting place. That's where I put a lot of my images that are on the website. So um, let's see here. If we go to the website, not this particular page, and I'll go over that in a minute. But um, like for this photo right here it's up on Flickr and it makes my website a little bit faster since that photo is being pulled from the Flickr servers the Yahoo servers which are going to be much faster than what I have so that's a, a nice way to go um, these are more of my portfolio style images my really good stuff that I want to share with you guys on the blog people to 
comment on via social media, that kind of thing. That's what Flickr is for to me. It's not for showing photos to a client. Yes, I might post one or two really good ones like uh, this one I probably emailed to the client and showed them and said, hey, here's the first photo, what do you think, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, um, that's what really it's for as well, as well as 500 pics. Although I treat 500 pics more as the, the kind of the cream of the crop images rather than Flickr, which is kind of everything. So um, that's the way I like to set it up. So um, my preferred method. <laughs> uh, last thing, it kind of also goes in the same mindset here as I have with my gallery of photos. It's the same with my website. I don't like the Zen folios. I don't like those kinds of, of do-it-all kinds of sites and you have to go to them and you pay them a ton of money to host and to do this and to do that. Uh, yes, it might be easy, but you don't have the options. You don't have the, um, I don't know, it just, it just, it's not the way you want it. It might not be absolutely perfect. And so that's why I prefer to do everything on my own in, in my website, on my servers, on my everything. I realize that I'm a lot more advanced, but there's plenty of help out there. And as I've mentioned before, especially in my ebook, if you have a website designer, you know a website designer, a lot of times they will barter with you, especially if there are jobs that are out there, they'll give you some website work and you can barter with them and provide photos either for them or their family or their clients. And so it's a win-win a kind of a barter situation. All right. So uh, I actually, these galleries here are Slideshow Pro galleries. Um, SlideshowPro.net, I think it is. Um, it's a really nice platform. It works great. Uh, here on the PC, it's going to be a Flash. All right. And you can see there's the Adobe Flash player. But on the iPhone, on the iPad, it actually switches over and it is uh, completely compatible. It knows if your system is a uh, is mobile, if you don't have Flash installed, which is really nice. It's a, it's a great system. Uh, once again, this is hosted on my server. I can control everything, or you can rent space directly from Slideshow Pro, and or from yeah, I guess it is Slideshow Pro, and so they will. Uh, basically allow you to put all the photos there on on their servers and then you can take just the gallery just the embed gallery and put it here on your website that's the optimal way to go and um, you know it, it works great works great so um, questions comments concerns I th wanted this to be a relatively quick video just about displaying your photos um, of course I probably missed Facebook Facebook is a great place to to put your photos up, especially if you have a page. Um, I just don't put them up there a lot. Google Plus is another great place to put photos. There have been a lot of photographers that are out there on Google Plus. I've been putting more and more of my photos up there on Google Plus, but not as much as my Flickr. It's more of my primary, because I think Flickr is a little bit better photography community than Google Plus is as of right now. So um, maybe I'll keep posting up there. I don't know. But, uh, you know, things may change. But find your niche find the place where you want to go show off your photos um, by the way the one that I totally missed that I just realized is you know what you need to be printing and doing something with your photos um, I might as well talk about that for a minute you can't just leave your photos just on the web and just on a screen yes our screens are looking awesome we have great computers that you know the screens are beautiful it shows all the colors everything but you know what you also need to be printing them and displaying them around your home or you know or around your business or wherever so do something with your photos get them framed get them printed uh, I use uh, Miller's professional imaging in Kansas if you're not a professional you can go with their uh, their sister company or their sub company their I don't know what the word, right word is there mpix.com mpix.com they are another great resource they um, their, their quality is excellent. They have a lot of great products that you can uh, purchase from them besides just regular 4x6 photos and, you know, enlargements and all that stuff. So, um, excellent, excellent company. Then the next step is to go and find yourself a good picture framer. Stay away from the big box stores, uh, although if you want just little frames, the targets and the, and the big box stores are fine. 
anything over 8x10 or 11x14, stay away from the big box stores. Stay away from the Michaels. Stay away from the Target. Stay away from all those kinds of places. Go and find, do it the right way. Find yourself a good picture framer in your area and have re have the, the right frame picked out and everything done right and you will be a hundred percent happier with it rather than just the the college kid that's behind the counter at Michaels or whatever you you know who has no clue what art looks like how a, what frame should look with an image what mat to choose whether it needs some additional um, you know p parts or pieces added to it maybe you need double mats instead of single mat to really make it pop you know some college kid that's behind the counter is not going to know what they're talking about that's why I say to stay away from those big box stores for your bigger prints. Smaller ones, smaller frames, 8x10. Target actually has a great collection uh, and a um, great selection, I should say, of uh, small frames at uh, in their stores. So, you know, that's a, it could be a good way to go for, for smaller stuff. Your 8x10, your 5x7, your 4x6. But anything above that, go to a real picture framer and you're going to be much happier. So, um, I think that's everything with regards to displaying your photographs. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, let me have them. Let's see them. All right. Thanks, guys. Keep shooting. See ya.